One of the great things about the Mighty Networks platform is how flexible it is so that you can structure the network to fit your needs. In this video, I'm going to talk about the building blocks you're going to use, the spaces and collections, and get you excited to think about how you would like to use those. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful using the Mighty Networks platform. You can think about a Mighty Network as a building. There's a front door, and you can change the access to that. And inside that front door, there are a lot of different rooms. Those are the spaces. That's the term in Mighty Networks lingo. And you can organize those rooms. You can think about putting the rooms in different hallways or different wings or different floors so that people can better find what they're looking for. So the way that you organize the rooms is by using a collection. So the rooms are spaces. The way you organize in the halls or the wings or the floors are collections. Now there's a doorway, like we said, into the network. There's also a doorway into each room. So everything happens inside the room, inside the space. You can have conversations in there in different ways. You can have event posts. Um, you can do live streaming, you can share information. There's a variety of different things that we'll look at a little bit later in this video, but you just need to know that's where the action happens, in those rooms. So you're trying to get your members into the rooms that best fit their needs, where they can get the benefits out of your network. And you can control the access to each of those rooms, the doorway into those rooms, as well as the doorway into the network. So when people want to purchase something, they're purchasing a room or a combination of rooms or access into your network, which can be combined with a combination of rooms. So the different types of doors, the different access to each space, you can have a public space where anybody can see and get into it. You can even have a public space that's set up to auto join. So everybody who joins the network is part of that space. You can have a space that's private and in a private space, people have to knock on the door, like a door to a house, and get let in. You can have a space that's secret, and only the people that are members of that space, the people that you invite to it, see it and can join it. You can have a space that is what's called a paid space, that is either token-gated or that you can charge money to, or even have a free paid plan. So you have a free ticket to so a paid space, is like a room that has a ticket to it. You have to have the ticket to get into it. So those are the ways that you structure and organize your network using collections and spaces. Let's take a look at what that looks like, what that actually looks like inside a Mighty Network. Inside a Mighty Network in the browser, like you see here, the navigation pane is in, on the left. The navigation pane is going to show members the spaces that they belong to and the spaces that they don't belong to that the host of the network has suggested for them. You can see those with the little sparkle icon here. You can tell the difference between a collection and a space because of this little downward arrow that lets you close up all the, all the spaces in a collection or open them. So all the collections in this network are shown here about in the spotlight, Mighty Essentials, Mighty Mastery, and Legal Notices. Those are all the collections that I've set up in my network. So the hallways or the wings or the floors that I've used to organize spaces. And when a member opens those collections or sees them open, they will see in the navigation bar the different spaces that they belong to and the ones that I've suggested that they might be interested in. They can also click on the name of the collection and see the full list of spaces inside that collection. Now we're looking at the same network, but from my host point of view. And I've closed all the collections so you can just see the list of collections, and it's larger than what you saw before as a member in the same network. You can set up collections, floors or hallways in your network that only you access or that only part of the members of your network can access. Like this backstage collection is just for me as the host with different things that old things and things I'm playing with, testing and setting up. 
If you look at one of the collections that we saw before, you can see all those same spaces. Although I could have some spaces in here that were secret that only I could see because I wasn't really ready to release them yet or because I wanted to invite people into them. The other thing to see in the navigation bar as a host is that one of the ways you can create a space or create a collection is down here. You can also add a new space to a collection using this three dot menu. This three dot menu on a space is one of the ways to get to the settings. We're gonna look at the different features, the different things that you can put into a space next. As you structure your Mighty Network, as you decide what spaces and collections to use and how to order those and name those, you're the architect of that building, the building of your Mighty Network. You also are going to be the interior designer for each space, for each of those rooms. You decide what you want in there so that your members can get the benefits you want to give them. You have different choices, different features that you can turn on or off in each space. So you can have one or more of these features. You can reorder them. You can rename them to do what makes sense for your network. With any Mighty Network plan, you have access to different ways to have conversation in a space. You could have a chat room set up and or you could use an activity feed style of conversation. You can also set up a, um, a single event or multiple events. You have a feature available that lets you, um, it's called the discovery feature, lets you share different ways for members to know what's happening inside that space and navigate that particular space. What are some of the latest posts or the most active areas of that space? You also have a way to easily show people what some of the highlighted hashtags are in that space. If you have the business plan, you have two other features available for you. The page space, which is like a web page of information. Great way to share content, information, help your members navigate and know about things. And you have a table of contents, which is a way to share structured and ordered content. It's a great way to have course material, reference library to share resources with people. Let's take a look at some real life examples of using those different features in a space. This space has three features enabled, an activity feed for conversation and sharing, the hashtag for quick searching of the activity feed, and also the member list so people can see who's there, who are the newest people. This space uses four features, a page, with some starting information to help people go through the material. This is a course, the course material and a table of contents. Here's an activity feed for the participants to ask questions and share thoughts about the course material. And then the quick search is the hashtags that they can use to search through both the material and the activity feed. Here's a simple space that just has a single page of information. This space has two features to support a chat room conversation. You can see here in the second feature. The first feature is a page that helps people understand what kind of conversation is happening here. There are so many great possibilities for setting up your Mighty Network using spaces and collections and the features inside of spaces. My biggest tip is to keep things as simple as works well. You can explore my free Mighty Network to see more about how I've set things up, the URL is in the video description. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. And I enjoy working one-on-one -on -one with hosts to help them create networks that fit their particular situation. Check out my website. Again, that information is in the video description. And have fun with your mighty network.